Okay, I'm gonna make the mealiest meal in hopefully less, no, in exactly less than an hour. I'm gonna say like 30 something minutes. Let's try to time this. It is 8.15. In that time, I'm gonna make rice, beans, lasagna, and I'm gonna try to make a trifongo. The trick to cutting corners and making things faster is buying ready-made lasagna. It tastes just as good when it's made. We're not, we're not doing authentic anything. We're trying to make a quick ass meal. We're going to preheat the oven to 375 for this. In that time, I'm going to start my rice and I use a rice cooker because this is the fastest method and I don't have to think about it. We clean the rice, put salt, water, oil, stir, stir, stir. You want to make sure that water goes above the rice by about an inch. That's how you get to make the perfect rice. So I got my heat going. So now that this is going, I'm going to add garlic. You got to always use that logo. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure it's fully coated. There's a lot of meat in here. I'll add a little Montreal seasoning. A little goes a long way. Italian seasoning. That cooks. I'm going to put this pan. I'm going to coat the bottom of this pan. And so I'm going to flip over the meat now. I'm gonna give you the ghetto, everyone's so creative, when I'm not trying to use mad bowls, but I'm making lasagna. I take out the top portion of this, and I'm gonna I'm a chuck it. I'm sorry for those who are gonna be offended by this. I know that it's just gonna sit in my fridge, and I'm not gonna eat this anyways. And I'm gonna crack an egg right up in this baby. And I'm gonna stir right up in this. Okay, so my meat is finished cooking. So I'm gonna start layering my um, lasagna. But in the meantime, this is the first time I'm ever making a yuca. Your first time. It's making my, my first time making a mofongo altogether. Um, I don't even know how you peel this, okay? Because it just seemed like the skin's hard enough and now I'm peeling it. It's probably an easier way. I should Google it, but at this moment I'm recording, so I'm, I'm not going to Google it. But this is coming out pretty easily. I'm going to boil this in water for, I don't even know, I got to Google that. I had no idea you're supposed to boil yuca for like 30 to 40 minutes. I'm going to boil it for like 20 to 25 minutes. Because afterwards I have to fry it. In my little ricotta mix, I'm gonna throw in some parm as well. So first layer of lasagna, sauce, layers of that. I'm gonna throw my ricotta mix on that layer. Throw mozzarella cheese, meats. No, no, sorry, meats, then mozzarella cheese. <laughs> I buy the slices to make it easier. I'm gonna just cover it. last layer these pre-baked um lasagna you just want to make sure that the whole thing is moist it's covered wet because then you'll have like hard bits <laughs> decaito decaito can of tomato sauce adobo sazon Now I'm gonna make some like ghetto ass um, garlic sauce to top on top of my mofongo. I was listening to Freak Rican's recipe. Theirs is what inspired me to do this today. They have like a mixture of like peppers, onions, garlic, and oil that they top on the end. I'm gonna use this, this oil, and a little bit of garlic to just top it off. It's, 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 it's technically the same, similar ingredients, so why not? So I cut this open. I don't know if this needed to be cooked first. Now I'm having a situation. My lasagna is done in one minute. Well, technically five minutes, but because you know you gotta lift up the cover and then cook it for another five more minutes. This is taking longer than an hour. Okay, so far it's been an hour and fifteen minutes. But I'm gonna say our, the beans, the rice are done. The lasagna is practically done. And this, I don't know how long this is gonna take. I'm gonna assume like twenty minutes max. It's only because I think. The green banana has to be cooked a little bit. We're gonna fill the pot up like halfway with oil. So we're gonna let this get hot, hot, hot before we throw in everything else. The lasagna is done. Oh my god, I'm so excited to make my first mofongo. I don't know if it's hot enough. I have to wait till it's hot, 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 hot. I feel like this is hot enough. You see, it's steaming. Alright, that's hot enough. It's getting hot. Alright. And then you can throw in your cassava, your yuca, 
a little piece, a smaller piece, and you take the maduros out first so they don't over fry. Okay, so we should take out the maduros when they're cooked, and they are currently cooked. We're gonna let the rest cook. Plantains are done, they're gonna float to the top. So I'm gonna make some room for this bad boy to float to the top. And to throw in about a tablespoon of butter. So I'm gonna throw that in with my maduros. This make this like mojo sauce. And I'm, I made my own in a little cup. And he pours some of that on top. And now, we mash it. I don't have a masher, so this is gonna take a lot longer than it should. All right, this is like some cookie tool, but I use this to like mash avocados, potatoes. And it's perfect for mashing this. Okay, now I'm gonna put all that in here, pack it in here, and try to make the nicest mound. <laughs> all right, we're gonna try that again. <laughs> Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. And then he says he tops it with a little bit more of that uh, ajo, that little oil. So I'm gonna throw this right up in the center here. Time to plate everything. Ain't that cute with the plating, but uh...